Hello. How's it going? Did you guys have a good weekend? How are you? Is my dress all buttoned up? Oh my gosh. I sewed this one shut, but still the buttons still undo. <laughs> How are you guys? Let me know you can hear me and see me. I'll wait a little bit to get started. If this isn't live, you can fast forward. Hi, Claire. Awesome. I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Did you guys have a good weekend? <laughs> I had a good weekend. Hi, Petey. How's it going? Welcome. It's Wednesday. Hi, Ida. <laughs> like those pants you made, Ida. Those are cute. <laughs> So I took my um, quilt class on Sunday. This is what I made. So it's got the paper, you know. It was really fun. Hi, Cheyenne, how's it going? You know what's funny, Cheyenne, is um, the com pattern company I'm making today has a Cheyenne tunic we've made. <laughs> I really love that blouse. So, um, so yeah, I really love this, the quilt class. I now I'm understanding the like fundamentals of the foundation paper piecing. So, oh, you were ill. That's a bummer. It's kind of a bummer when you're sick on the weekends if that's your time off. But at the same time, it's good not to miss work and get behind, right? Yeah, I did love that. You know, um, between your pants and wearing those So House 7 um, free range slacks, I was thinking I might put a button fly and waistband on a pair of those free range slacks because they're so comfy. I love them. I did, kids. Thanks for noticing. How did you notice that? You're so observant. <laughs> kids noticed that I made affiliate on Twitch. I know. I actually give gave myself my Twitch Prime subscription because <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you've been yeah, allergies, PD. I know. You just tried the yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm starting to get more observant like that too, kids. Because I have friends that stream just casually, like, oh, we want to watch them play a game, so they'll stream, you know. And I wanted to like surprise them with giving, you know, them like an Amazon Prime. And I'm like, oh, there's no subscribe button. I'm like, oh, of course. Like, they're not actual like full time streamers. So, <laughs> yeah, it just took me jumping through some hoops, like trying to figure out what the IRS has on my form, you know, the like so that I matched it all. I've been legit for years. Like, I'm always legit when I do businesses. This is like my third time having a business and I'm always legit. I haven't like set up everything for so, so yet cause I'm still figuring it out, but I don't have to quite yet. And it's funny because all of a sudden like PayPal and all these things are like asking me this information. I'm like, Oh my gosh, what happened? I, I can't figure out this, some of this stuff. So, <sighs> well anyway, um, <laughs> I know it would be fun to have emotes. I don't think I'll ever get there kids, but it'd be fun. Hi Mata. How's it going? You spy kitties. Yes, I had a cat theme with my quilts, my quilt blocks. This is all I've done so far, but I've definitely caught the bug and I'm going to do more in my free time, you know. And now I understand like how this works. So it it definitely like, like when she showed me the first one, I was like, okay, I get that. And I started doing it and I was like, I'm doing this wrong. And I like, I just like, where you put this you don't put this yeah anyway i won't explain the whole thing but it was really interesting and um, yeah so now i'm going to work on my my cool blocks okay and um i did i made a cupcake newer fabric so this is what i was gonna work on saturday i think i'm gonna work on some of these and just refining them and making sure the patterns are right so yeah and then I stuffed them today as well. So they're all stuffed. I like it, I like it. I wanna see if I can add stiffener to this and see, you know, especially the cupcake. 
I want it to lay like fl it likes it flat. I actually needle felted a little <laughs> cherry on top. Hi, Carol. How's it going? You just recently started your first quilt kits. That's awesome. I started one a few years ago, but I don't know. I just got a little like off track. Hi, Rachel. Yeah, that's my first time. I'm, I'm, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> it was really fun to hang out with other people just sewing in real life, too. That was, like, the best part. and Just chatting and stuff, you know? So, like, I, I could use a little more of that in my life. I think we all could, you know? I wish my office was big enough. I have, like, all this extra room over there, but it's not big enough to, like, have a ton of people here sewing, you know? It's like you need a lot of space with tables and outlets and stuff. Oh, a million different plat. Well, that'll be cool, kids. That'll be really cool. I just have the kitties thing because I am... Um, oh, shoot. I just threw my cupcake away. <laughs> Let's not do that. I um, just... I have a black cat and a white cat, and so I just started accumulating black and white cat prints. And then I started that modern, modern quilt. What is that called? I can never remember. So, take the walls down. It's not my building. <laughs> So, okay, so this is what we're making today. I'm gonna cut this out. Um, the Lucerne blouse. Sorry, my printer's junk not now because I've all the shipping labels are printed for years. And um, there's two views. Can you see that? So this is another woven tee. So if you guys have fabric um, for a, a blouse and you don't wanna do the whole button down placket thing, you wanna pull over, I like, I like the Scout Tee. This is a really great option. Um, this is my second Hey June handmade pattern. We did the Cheyenne tunic and it turned out really great. I love that. I'm looking forward to wearing it this fall. Um, and I'm excited. I need more tops to go with all the jeans I'm going to start wearing for fall. Like this for me is fall sewing, but I know it isn't for everybody. They need warmer stuff. Um, it's 101 here today. So, you know. Hi, Heather. How's it going? Exactly, kids. If kitties are an option, why the heck not? <laughs> so um, I am choosing view A with the tie sleeve. Let's see if you can see that very well. The other one has a pedal sleeve with the like the overlapped sleeve thing. And I'm going to change the bottom by adding like a waist tie like that. You run a sewing class on Thursday and have such li Oh, that's really cool, Rachel. Hi, Megan. How's it going? It's only 96 there. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Hi, Katie. How's it going? Yeah, so um, I taped together the pattern yesterday. It was pretty easy. And, you know, I'm going to cut it out. I only have the pieces to make the version with the tie sleeve. I think I'll probably gather this into the waistband too. Um, and then I'm just going to put a similar placket to the sleeve. It's actually a pretty easy mod, you know. Um, really all I'm going to do probably is make a tie pattern and short cut off the bottom a little bit. So let's see, I did actually write down, I'm hoping I wrote down a measurement. Let's see, where did I write that down at? Let's see here. I'm hoping I wrote it down somewhere. Hmm. Maybe it was. So I'll show you how I figured it out. Anywho, I have this really great rayon with birds in like royal blue and orange. So, hi, Barbara. This top is for me. Yes. Yeah. This is for me. I bought this fabric when I was visiting Hearts Fabric. Oh wait, did I buy this from Hearts? Now I'm rethinking that I bought this from Hearts. I think I tagged them with the hashtags. I think I did. I feel like I did. <laughs> oh man, fabric is so elusive that way, isn't it? Like, it's like when you buy anything else in the world, it's got a UPC barcode and all the information. Fabric is more of a mystery once you get it home if you don't write down all the details. All right, so let's move all of these fiddly things out of the way. Cut our big pieces first. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pin my pieces to the chair. <laughs> Burbs. Yeah, so, and it's pretty wide. Can you see that? 
I think this table is three feet wide. No, it can't be three feet wide. How wide is my table? This fabric. Wow. Yeah, that's right. My table's 30 inches wide. And this is like 29 inch fabric. You really get a lot for your money with rayon. So what I decided, okay, so here, okay. I'm sorry, Hey June, if you're watching, but this is one of my pet peeves is when the pattern pieces were like, you got a left front and you got a, a left back. So you can't put your pattern pieces together. <laughs> it's a stupid pet peeve, I know, but see like, like I can't put the side seams, I have to do this, you know, I had to flip it over. So <laughs> it's just one of those things, like I wanna look at the way the pattern flows and stuff like that. I wanna be able to put it together. So I want like the whole right side, you know? It's one of my things. All right, so I, like I said, I want this waist tie. And so this is how I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna measure over my shoulder because I don't know where that shoulder line is on the pattern. It could be towards the back, it could be towards the front. And so to get a kind of an accurate place of where I want it, and I kind of want it to sit like on my high hip, like maybe right here. And I want some blousing, right? So, so right here, like if I, I'm, let's see, am I, am I level? I think I'm level. Yeah, I'm pretty level. That's like 42 and a half, okay? So that's why I really want this pattern to be one side, you know, like the left side or the right side. It doesn't matter what side, I just need the whole side. I'm going to, it's half inch seam, so I just draw a one inch line and now I line up the back here. We'll use some removable tape. Like this. And now I can go like this. I can do the, the 45 thing. But this is how I figure out where it sits, right? Hi Ray, how's it going? So I can line up my shoulder seam right here, or my side seam right here, right? Like this. So that supposedly is where the shoulder seam will sit. I'll draw a line. So it's, a, it's the, the seam line, right? Not that cut edge, but the seam line. So this red line, that's where the shoulder seam is gonna sit, right? So that way I know now if it's 42 that I wanted, plus I want some blousing, because you don't want it to be like <laughs> writing up, right? So. <laughs> so. What I miss, what I miss? You just finished two beanies. Speed run between dinner and bedtime. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's, oh yeah. So you have the same people for like a year. That's pretty cool. Hi, Malin. How's it going? All right, so 42. Let's, we'll do it this way. I'm just making it very literal, right? So here's my 42 inch length. I'm gonna line it up there. So that's where I want it to sit, right? on my body, but I need some blousing. So I'm gonna add like, I think I'm gonna add like four inch, four inches. I mean, what do I think is good blousing, right? So if if this was my line, doesn't matter where, I'm just trying to get an idea what the blousing is. I, I figure this stuff out on the fly too. Hi Caddis, how's it going? <laughs> I missed her earlier, hello. All right, so I'm gonna figure out the blousing. I don't really need much, right? So if this was my line, so yeah, it's like more like three inches. Two and a half. There's two, we'll add three. So that'll give us the blousing that I want for the waist tie. You know what I mean? So, you take, you take crotch area for what? <laughs> this is, oh, you mean like you want it lower? No, I want it like high hip. Definitely want it high hip, I think. All right, so let's transfer this to the other piece. 
and just get my fabric out of the way. I'm gonna cheat and use my tracing wheel. This just puts some holes on the paper on the underside. And now I can kind of see where I want this. I can see the line. You guys probably can't see that line, but I need some paper. Let's get some out of the recycle bin. So, Melinda, I'm adding um, a waist tie. Like this. Otherwise, it just hangs loose. Hi, Lisa. How's it going? So otherwise it hangs loose, which is really cute, but I was thinking it would look a little more finished, um, you know, with like a little blasting there. Cause otherwise I'll feel like I need to tuck this in a little bit or I need vents. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just what I'm envisioning for this fabric. You know what I mean? All right, let's. Yeah, and it mirrors the sleeves very well, exactly. Yeah, I think that'll be a good... Let's do our tracing wheel line again. I don't really need to, so I'm gonna do it again. So lined up my side seams, taped it at the shoulder at the seam allowance, and then I lined up the side seam to find out where it is front and back, right? How long I want this. I can see it there just fine. And I'll put the um, tie in the side seam. So I don't really need to do anything there. Oh, right, Rachel, I am there with you. It is hard work just determining like what projects. Because you want people to want to sew it. You want them to finish, right? Well, that'll be fun. You have patterns already done for them? That's so cool. All right, so I'm just gonna, yep, pack off my pattern so I don't get confused and cut the wrong thing. So now I don't need a hem allowance, I just need the seam allowance, which is already included. All right. So my front and my back, my sleeve, all cutting as is. Now this fabric is so wide, I think I might be able to get a front and a back. Like, let's see. Yeah, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a piece of fabric so that it's a little easier to fold. I still have a lot of fabric. She even gives this tip in her cutting notes. She says, you know, if you can fit your front and your back side by side, you're gonna save a half a yard of fabric, which can be kind of a lot, you know? All right, so I'll do this, fold it. So I'm pretty sure I can sew this all tomorrow, no problem. It's got a facing neckline, which we haven't done in a while. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to use that, that trick where you sew your facing like right sides or, um, oh my gosh, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. It'll be too thick for this. But I was actually thinking about stitching down the facing for that kind of look. You know what I mean? Like top stitch it down. I don't know. Really, Megan? That's pretty amazing. All right. So I just kind of lined this up with the fold right here that I can barely see. Can you see my fabric? Okay, there is a little shadow right here on the table from the um, support beam for my cameras here. But um, 
I am pretty sure the background was whiter. Because there were this and my lemon print knit all are dingy looking now. And I'm really disappointed because I washed something that shouldn't have faded that was brand new. I don't even like that lemon print knit. I'm like, I, I went kind of through a hassle to get it. And now I'm like, well, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's dead to me. <laughs> nope, it's not going to be lined, Megan. You might take me to class. <laughs> that would be fun. All right, let's see. I'm kind of trying to get my fold straight. So I'm going to use one of the things on the table here to straighten it out. Ran is always so wishy, isn't it? Here we go. So I opted for, oh, I'm going to do the scoop neck. That's right. I'm going to do the scoop neck. I usually always do V-necks. I love V-necks. Uh, but I've actually been liking scoop necks for something different lately, you know? So. That's awesome. All right, so let's see here. We're going to cut right there. Now, I know I'm cutting my actual pattern and modifying my actual pattern. That doesn't really bug me. I know for some of you, you like to trace off your pattern first, and I understand that. Um, this is a PDF pattern. I can always print out another one. And I taped this one together. It really didn't take long. I did that trick where you cut off all of your top and left margins. So then they're all just ready to like slap down and tape together. All right. I'm going to mark my center back neck by just like nipping a little corner off the edge, the fold edge there. And then I really don't need my pattern piece anymore. Didn't go all the way to the corner there. So I feel like I can see a blue tinge in places. I hope it's okay, you know? So if we just sew this tomorrow, I'm gonna work. I think I'm gonna do another freestyle sewing. I actually really enjoyed that with you guys. Did you guys enjoy that? I liked that. It was really fun just to hang out and sew together. You guys need to sew something. Maybe I'll do some of my quilt squares. We'll just sew together. Nancy would like it to last all day long. <laughs> I just got worried that I cut this upside down, but I didn't. It's so funny how sometimes you uh, don't think about your print anymore. See, I keep thinking there's a blue shadow. That's the shadow. I, I really like this fabric. I feel like it's the birds that bled. That's how it looks, but I'm sure that's not the case. All right. So what are you guys working on? Is it becoming fall where you guys? Yeah, maybe I should, but you know, this I, I washed this with something synthetic that shouldn't have bled. You know? <laughs> Nancy. I feel like retired folks are so busy. They're busier than when they were working, which makes me like think, yikes, you know? I'm gonna leave that lined up there. Oops. Ran is always so good, like it moves around so much. I really like rotary knife um, cutting rayon for that reason because you're just pressing straight down. You're not lifting it off the table. Mark our center front with a tiny little knit. 
The, uh, the neckline seam allowance is also half inch. I actually think I'm gonna do quarter inch because um, the neck seems a little deep. Oh, cool, Ray. Vertical slot buttonhole. What the heck is that? Is that like a welt or a bound buttonhole? Oh, is it like, um, you sew it with a facing? It's cooler here at night. Last night it got to, it was really warm and windy and you guys know the, the fire thing here is heavy on our minds. And it's been like the, the last couple days it got really hot and windy, which is kind of weird. It's not really like that usually, not the windy part. So, it's scary. Um, yeah. All right, so this is your sleeve tie. Nice, long, awkward piece to cut. Um, you have binding on your sleeve, and I'll need that on the waist as well, and then facings. And so I just have this nice little piece here. That's interesting, the sleeve binding's cut on the grain. I was gonna do it on the bias. I imagine with the rayon, it actually wouldn't help. It doesn't, it doesn't really need it, you know what I mean? It's not that it wouldn't help, it just wouldn't really need it. So, you're hoping you'll have more time, Nancy. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like my parents are really busy too, Malin. Yeah. It's raining cats and dogs? Oh my gosh. I'm looking forward to that, you know? The rain. So I have a, I have like a yard of fabric left. No problem getting my waist ties. I just need my sleeves. I need my sleeve ties, which are hecka long. <laughs> Look how long they are. here let's cut the sleeves and then we'll sleeve the ties. There's a little slit right here for that tie as well. You're making boxers for the hat. What pattern are you using, Rachel? That would be kind of fun to sew. I think the elastic would be the tricky part with that one, um, like the kind that you get, because you'd want it to be comfortable against the skin. But at least right now, there's lots of options for that. That's eight and a half, right? Eight and a half. Eight and a half, yeah, there we go. Um, I like to cut off all the sizes I'm not using so that I'm not confused. Um, and I did that, I think, on everything. Yep, I even did it on the sleeve tie. I didn't think I'd done it on the sleeve tie, but I remember at the last second I kind of did. Um, because they this um, pattern isn't marked on each line. So, you know, like in a couple places you'll see, I just used a highlighter and kind of highlighted my size like that so I know. It's a mystery to me too when you get into these like <laughs> dense line groups. I say be consistent. That's 16th of an inch, 32nd of an inch isn't really gonna make or break you for yours. It doesn't really matter for your notches on the sleeve. All you really need these for is for knowing which is the front and which is the back, you know? So. 
Oh, which which one? You're Nina Lee. Oh, really? That's a bummer. Can you just let it out, or is that like asking a lot? Yeah, right, Barbara. It gets really nice where I used to live too. Like fall is their summer, you know. That they all look forward to fall because it's always cloudy all summer long. <laughs> I feel you on the like lose a few pounds, Nancy. The last like six months, I've gained like haven't changed a thing, and gained weight. And I'm like, what the heck, man? You know? Yeah, that's a bummer. The Mandy Boat Tea. The sleeves are skin tight. What's the Mandy Boat Tea, Lisa? That sounds familiar. Oh, that's a bummer, Nancy. I'm sorry. Ooh, well, Lynn, you're so close, though. Get the body. Oh, you know, I've seen, like, that style of shirt, Lisa, where the, um, dang it, I didn't mean to lift up my sleeve like that, um, where the sleeves are really small. I feel like the Linden is a little bit like that. When I see the Linden sweatshirt on people in the hashtag, I'm gonna. I'm not going to lie. I, I I look at it and I'm like, is that really the same sweatshirt I made? <laughs> like every time I'm like, what the heck? Not everybody's gonna say what mods they did. They don't have to. Like we're no one's obligated to do that, you know. But at the same time, I would like to know because I feel like everyone's making them longer. All right. So here's the this little. I didn't really get it perfectly taped there, but that's okay. Um, it's interesting that there's a separation here. So I'm going to do that. Because, you know, like on a, a sleeve placket for like a cuffed sleeve, it's just a slit. All right, so here's our sleeves. Yes, I did iron this fabric yesterday. But then I kind of wadded it up on the table, so... <laughs> Oh, really, Barbara? Ooh, I wonder if mine dropped. They didn't look like they had. You know, Barbara, my thing about my Tanya culottes is how the pocket openings hang. Have you noticed that? Did yours, they, the pockets aren't optional, right? They're just on them, right? I feel like the pocket, it's like the this part right here, it's almost like this dress. So I think I added these pockets on this dress pretty sure I added these. And I feel like on those Tanya culottes, it would feel wrong to do it, but I think it would give you a really good result is if you if you pivoted out a wedge right here on the part where the pocket opening hits the skirt. And then because I find that those pockets they kind of go wing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is the little details. Toronto T, Rebecca Page, that person sounds familiar. You guys are full of good info. You make me feel like a noob. All right, so um, I just need to leave. So my tie for my this is how I figured out my tie. I, I looked at the tie that I did on the, on the, um, what did we just make the Kielo wrap dress? And remember I made those ties 60 inches each. I really, really lengthened them. I think I added like 12 to 14 inches on each one. So that was almost like, almost a yard total in length. <laughs> so I held up one of those ties and tried to tie it. And this is the other way, like this is a 60 inch tape measure, right? So if I won't put it around here, kind of where I'm thinking it'll sit, and then I still need to, if I don't have to tie it in a bow, I just need to be able to knot it, right? So let's see if I do this, like this. So scientific, right? So then, you know, maybe I want a little more Just so they're not going wing, you know what I mean? So this is 60, so I think, I feel like 64 would be enough. Um, the width of this fabric is 59. 
So I'll probably do it in two pieces. And then I need to decide how wide to do it as well. So let's do our facings and then we'll see our fabric. And I need to do my sleeve things. So let's do um, the facings on this side of the, the where the sleeves were. Right now I'm just trying to make sure I have as much whole yardage as possible. That's why I cut the sleeves that way. Biasing them. It's so tempting when you when you cut something um, in two layers to put it towards the fold in the middle of the fabric and then you have this big hole gone, you know? So the pattern has a half inch caddis. You have to have, you have to add it always. Oh, do you use like patterns in the, the books where you have to add your seam allowance? This one comes with half inch seam allowance. So you can um, adjust it however you like. Like the other day I, I did make something in, with the French seams and I added a quarter of an inch because the seam allowance, it only came with three eighths. So I like more like five eighths for the French seams. So here's our, Here is our facings. Yes, I, I know it'll be upside down if I do it that way. This looks like a little bit of a deep neck. It's my only thing I'm kind of watching for you know, deep in the center front, so. That's awesome, Rachel. I've heard of Rebecca Page. I love that you guys talk with each other. It's really cool. All right. Where's my line? It's not that one. Oh yeah, it's right next to it. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm cut my little center right here. You don't need it on the bottom edge. It's pretty wide facing. I like it when they're not skimpy. The skimpy ones always flip. You know what I mean? Make sure this is on the fold. So the, the thing I always want, because I want it perfectly on the fold, I want that it because I don't want, if I got it a little bit off, it won't be a nice smooth curve. You'll get a point this way or this way, you know? So that's something I always check for. Writing, oh, do I, did I make it? Oh, I didn't, I didn't make it. Let's see, let's move this this way. Right angles are always really key when you're at junctures, seams and folds. really the kind of like difficult pattern to sew that you really need your centers marked, but it helps, you know? Especially like say when we go to iron the interfacing on there, maybe I'm not very good at laying down the fabric and it gets a little askew or it gets stretched out or it shrinks, right? So, <laughs> I know, right Nancy? Me either. I know it was really fun to go to a quilt. It's like, okay, maybe I'll do more quilting classes just so I can hang out with other sewers. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I only have um, my sleeve binding and all my ties to, to do. So I think I'm trying to decide if I want my opening to be, I don't really think it needs to be much bigger than the sleeve. 
but I think I will do the tie a little wider. This is so long. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, and let's see what this is. So this one is 28 or 29 inches long, and then I was talking about making my waist one 64, right? I could content, uh, I could use this pattern piece, just modify it a little bit, make it wider, and then um, make it a little longer, so. So you guys, I got like this week, or last week, I made two milestones in one on YouTube. They are now allowing me to monetize. I think I mentioned this before, but it didn't really connect. I couldn't figure it out. But now Ray sent me an email. She's like, I'm watching an ad on your on your stream and I'm watching the whole thing. I'm, you know, kind of watching it. And so I thought that was really cool. Um, but they're now popping up. So I'm, I apologize for ads, but the thing is like, that is like one way to monetize and hopefully they're ads you can tailor to you. Um, and then on Twitch, I made something called Twitch affiliate. So now I'm a Twitch, I'm a YouTube partner and a Twitch affiliate, which is pretty cool. They're big milestones for me. It took me a year, which is pretty quick. Um, at the same time, if you looked at the thresholds for YouTube, I don't think I made the threshold. I was just probably allowed because maybe I'm consistent or something. I don't really know. It's not like I get to talk to anyone there. But I'm pretty excited about it because it just makes me feel more legit. Um, it makes me feel like there's people watching and I really appreciate that. I do this essentially for free at this point because I really enjoy sewing and I have a lot of information I'd love to share with people. And I love learning from you guys. Like the whole home sewing world, I've always sewn for me, but I didn't work in the home sewing world. I worked in the garment industry um, and in manufacturing. So it's a little different, you know? And it's great to be in a totally different facet of something I, I know a lot about, just, just a little different, so. <laughs> I feel like here, Mata, it's more common to see quilt sewers. And the fabric stores are dominated by quilting fabrics. And then, yeah, then they'll s switch towards clothes, like bags, pillows, non-wearable things. The fitting of garments really hangs people up. So, yeah, that's awesome, Rachel. Exactly. <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> you're so funny. So on Twitch, I'm just going to tell you guys this because I feel like if I don't, like Brooke would be like, Sammy, why aren't you talking about this? You know what I mean? It isn't easy for me to talk about the money part, but I'm not shy about it on, in, the hand, in the way that I'm really honest about those things. Like people ask me, so how are you making money? And I'm like, not really, not yet, but I don't push it. I'm trying to figure it out, you know? I'm trying to figure out if this is what people want. So on Twitch, Twitch has something called um, Prime. And if you've ever heard of big streamers like Ninja and Fortnite, that's how he's making his money, mostly, is by Amazon Prime. And it's because like all those young people and there's people my age watching him play, their parents or they have Amazon Prime because Amazon owns Twitch, which a lot of people don't know. And Amazon lets people have a subscription to a channel for free every month. So you can subscribe to the channel, which is different than following it. So I don't want to confuse you guys because Twitch and YouTube call subscribing totally different things. Kids, he's not on uh, on Twitch anymore. He moved to Mixer. Well, they're watching him. So, um, so what that means is Amazon gives every person who has a Prime account $5 to give to any streamer for free. And so that's why he, he, like, he makes so much money and so many people do it. Oh, okay, kids. <laughs> he, is he becoming toxic with Fortnite? Oh, everyone's so mad about Fortnite. Yeah, so. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm not a big fan of him. Oh, he plays with people I've watched and I just can't. I just, I'm like, ugh. Oh, thanks, Katie. 
I'm glad. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so now if you go to my Twitch channel, there's a subscribe button. And I subscribed to myself yesterday because I hadn't given my Twitch Prime away. I don't want to give it to all the streamers complaining about Fortnite right now. I'm kind of mad at them. I'm like, why are you all complaining? Fortnite gives you money. <laughs> like, gives them money. It's like, why would you complain? So you can do that. Um, and then it doesn't automatically renew. So you can give your Amazon Prime to any streamer you want. And it doesn't automatically renew and charge you just so you know that. You have to do it manually every month. So you see a streamer that you want to throw $5 at, you should totally do it because it's free to you if you have Amazon Prime. I try and always take advantage of it because it's like, otherwise it's money left on the table, you know? And then I'm trying to streamline all that stuff because now I have Patreon and I really appreciate all the Patreon subscribers. I really like that little list because I feel like I can now make videos specifically for Patreon subscribers. If they're like, hey, we really want this, I can do that. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to move in that direction. It's very s simple or sim simplified, you know, that way. And it's directly to people that I know are just super generous like that. that that's just crazy generous to me. I can make some things specifically for you, but if, but if it's general like Amazon Prime and and Streamlabs donations. I feel like I, I can't give you back something, you know, and I that feels kind of weird. So, yeah. Yeah, right, kids? Exactly. She says anything to steal money from Jeff Bezos. <laughs> right, Megan? I know. He used to be like that. So, yeah. So, it is really interesting. And if you, I should show you guys a primer just so you can do, just so you can understand how those work anyway. Like, you don't have to give it to me at all. You can give it to anybody. Anyway, let me cut these pattern pieces out too. All right, let's do the sleeves. What I need to do, this is why I was pulling this apart. And I know one's upside down right now. Don't worry. I'm going to cut it off and fix it. Yeah, and I, I even appreciate any suggestions on what you guys want. I I get requests for things and I definitely take them to heart, but I hope people understand that um, it's my money that I'm spending on my things. So I try and make things that are actually really useful to me or someone in my life right now, unless it's sponsored. So if you know a fabric store that you're like, hey, there's this streamer, you should sponsor her. Do that if you want something specific. Like, I really want her to make this Archer button up. Will you <laughs> send her fabric to do it? Do it. It doesn't cost them anything except the fabric and the pattern and shipping, you know? So you guys can help me out by doing that. Bug someone, a pattern company or a fabric store, you know? Get the things we want. All right, so now I'm gonna cut this in half the long way. This is me trying to make sure both of my sleeves are right side up, my sleeve ties. I'm still gonna put them right sides together just so I have a left and a right just in case. I don't think there's a left and a right on this pattern piece. The best way to check is just to fold it in half because there is a notch on it. That's the only distinguishing marking and it looks like it's almost dead center. It's like uh, so minimally not. It could be the way I taped the pattern. Oh, no, 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 look, I can, I can see. I didn't tape it. I, I, I didn't fold it perfectly in half. That's the line. Yeah, so it's a little off center, but it could be the way I taped the pattern, you know? So, you know, you're not the um, only person to ask that, Nancy, a stream about print matching. But what do you guys mean by that? I wanna ask. You want your hoodie, Megan. Which hood, hoodie do you want, Megan? Do you have a pattern in mind for that? I can show you how to draft a hood. I love the streaming. Like, you know what I would really like? Honestly, like my dream would be that I just did sponsored streams and then occasionally myself. Thanks for, oh, is that a follow? Ah, you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, H. Dot. Ah, you subscribe to Twitch Prime. That's awesome. Now I know what it looks like. Thank you. And thanks for subscribing, Carol. You're making me blush. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Okay, match plaids or stripes with big prints. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you, I, oh, I follow that hashtag men who sew, and um, I found this guy, and I saw he made a bomber jacket, and it had this big flower, and he matched, the pattern matching was amazing. I would love to do that. <laughs> You're welcome, H. Dot. <laughs> Thanks, Deborah. Appreciate that. I love streaming. I would love to stream more often, you guys. But it's the um, figuring it out, like what am I gonna make? And then buying all of the stuff. It adds up. You guys know firsthand. I would just stream all the time, but I had to tell myself, you can't do that, Jeremy. You can't do that. You have to be smart. Is this on the fold? Oh crap, you guys. This is on the fold. I am talking. I'm being punished. Should I put a, I could put a seam there. All right, I'm gonna save this just in case I don't have enough fabric. I have enough for my waist tie, don't I? Ah, that's on the fold. That makes sense. So. Oh, that hand knitted, like you, that sewing knitted fabric that's, that's hand knitted. You mean like when you're piecing together your finished knits? Mata? Is that what you mean? All right, I might make this a little bit shorter. All right, I need to focus. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for waist ties, wow. They may be pieced. But that'll be okay. Or I could just, um, that's what I'll do. Maybe I could put a seam in that one. And then, let's see here. How much am I off here? Eek, a little bit, huh? Oh, only like a half inch. I feel like I could lose a half inch in my sleeve length. My sleeve tie, sorry. You guys see that? Could I, it's, it's a little more, that's a more like an inch. This is what I have left. Oh, there's the, hi Carrie, how's it going? You know, um, yeah, I actually have some of those. I have some Italian knit that I got from Stone Mountain. That Magnolia dress looks stunning, Megan. Machine, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that stuff can be a little like snaggy and, um, but it's really nice. Then you don't have to hand knit. I do have some of this Italian wool knit that I need to do the same thing. I just haven't decided what I want to do with it. I thought the linden would be it, but then I was like, oh, I don't know. You know, and it's a little warm. All right, let me figure this out. So, so let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do really small seam allowances and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, you know? All right, so if this was my, if this was my sleeve, you know, I feel like I have plenty You know? I mean, did you get that? I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, that magnolia dress is beautiful. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna work on my serger this week and I have three knit patterns. I have the bowline sweater, the um, toaster and 
What's the other one? Oh, and I have that zip tee that's also zip neck pullover. That's a sponsored one. So um, we'll probably start getting into those starting next week. I'll probably do one a week. And I think one of them is going to be a, a fabric that might work for you, Mata. It's the one that um, Hart sent me for the toaster sweater. None of them require cover stitch per se. So that's why I feel like I'm going to be fine. I just can't get my cover stitch to be stretchy right now. And it used to always be stretchy. So do a seam on the side for the bottom tie. Yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do, Megan. So you've got, you've got the needle sharp box for a while, Megan. Oh, she's doing the bow line again. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I got mine in my needle sharp box too. And I've had it for like a while. All right. So let me just, let's set some fabric aside here. So we have our, our sleeve tie there. And then I have, oof, I only have this for my waist tie. I'm going to cut my um, waist tie instead because I have enough fabric to get my sleeve and I have the, the back up right there. So if you want to add this waist tie, you might want to check your yardage first because I didn't know I was making this shirt in this fabric when I bought this fabric, which isn't like me. I'm doing that more and more, buying fabrics without something in mind. I will have something in mind, but then I don't use it for that. I don't recommend that <laughs> um, because it doesn't give you as many options just in case. So, oh, that'll be nice, Megan. Mine's in red. It's like a merino wool red. I'm excited about it. All right, so my tie, I think I want to be about I think two and a half inches wide finish. So if I make it about five, six, and let's see, do I have enough to do? I think I might. Okay. I'm going to just cut this straight here. Okay. I didn't make a pattern piece just because it's a long straight tie. The um, sleeve has a taper, so I might do that once I get this cut out. I'm gonna cut it on the fold. This is how sometimes I do parallel lines. I make like a little light cut, and then it's like kind of like uh, dotted lines. I really hate it when I go under the camera, sorry. And then you do this. You just gotta make sure you use the exact same measurement the whole way. Let's check it, right? Yeah, so it could be a little longer because it's definitely not gonna stay like that, right? That would be my tie. Am I getting blurry? Might be you. You need to lay off the wine. I'm just teasing Nancy. <laughs> the, oh yeah, I like that, that look, Rachel. <laughs> Did it clear up for you guys? Maybe it was just an internet thing. Here's my, I'm just cutting off the selvage here. So if I want this to end up being longer, I could put an inset in. <laughs> what wine? <laughs> I 
And she sees she's seeing me blurry. Let's let's uh let's cut our sleeves first. Is this the piece? I think this is the piece. Ah, Stitcher Lee, thanks! You're on morning coffee right now. <laughs> thanks, Stitcher Lee! For the Twitch Prime subscription. How fun. This is so fun. Like, I've seen streamers say this for years, you know? And now I'm one of those people. You know what's really funny, you guys, is that I game with a lot of people that have no clue I'm a streamer. No clue. It's so funny to me. All right, so I can get one out here. Can I get one over here? No, not really. Maybe. And um, it would be funny to for them to know that. Like, a lot of them don't, don't even ask, like, what I do. It's just kind of an unspoken thing. You just don't really... My friend and I were talking about it last night. I was like, do you know if that person works or do they not work, you know? And she's like, I don't know. I said, yeah, I kind of get to that point where it's like, you don't want to ask, you don't want to answer the same question you're asking, so you just don't ask. <laughs> so let's see. Can I get two of these out right here? Oof, barely. All right. All right, it's time to cut the the paper off of the fold so I can really see. This is, I am very much cutting this like I would if you guys weren't watching right now. I kind of go back and forth between pieces if I'm cutting it close on fabric. I've got some, you can't see it, but right here I have a big slit. That's why I'm working so carefully around this edge right here. I'm barely in there. Perfect. Okay, I think I can do this. <laughs> uh, some of them do, Nancy, but that is so funny, the reactions. I don't know. Uh, the folks that I play a lot with, they have no clue. They don't even have any idea how old I am. It's just better that way sometimes, you know? Because it doesn't matter to me how old they are. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this. I, you know, a couple of people have been playing with for a really long time, like two years now. They know. And they know, like I told a couple of them that I'm streaming. They never ask me about it or anything though. They just kind of respect, respect that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Megan. And a lot of them don't want to give personal information themselves, and I totally respect that. And a lot of them shouldn't. Some of them are under age, too. They're the ones I wouldn't want them to know. Ooh, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really into this cut right here, so I'm going to have to be careful with my seam allowance right there. Oh, but I didn't cut this on the very straight, did I? <laughs> All of them are that we definitely cross paths with. I would not want them to hop in my stream and say whatever they want, you know? All right, here's my ties. So you have a little cut in that one right there. I'll just work around. It's half inch seams. I can deal with that. Yes, though, I come across tons of sexist guys that I don't play with. <laughs> but they don't ever say anything like, get back in the kitchen. <laughs> You know, which would be hilarious because my husband would be like, ha, that's my job. <laughs> all right, this is my, this is my, this is my waist tie. This is all scrap over here, right? I still need my sleeve. Um, I still need my openings, you know? <laughs> right, same here, exactly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Megan, exactly. Yeah, well, that's how I feel Mata 
right here. It's like, I don't care what level of sewist you are, what size you are, it doesn't matter. We're all here because we're unique people. So, <laughs> really kids? <laughs> Someone just came into her stream and said, you're actually bad? <laughs> The funny thing is, I'm not good. My friend was watching me play last night because he doesn't have the game. And we, we were, a bunch of us were together playing this game that we all met each other in. And then they came out with this, a third version of it. It's a, the Plants vs. Zombies game, which is just so funny and fun and cartoony. And um, he joined, he was like, hey, can I share play? Which means he can watch whatever I'm seeing on the screen. He can see my screen. He can't see like personal stuff. Like when you exit out to your main menu, he can't see that. It just goes black for him. But he was like watching me play, which is, you know, I, I'm over people seeing how bad I am. It doesn't matter to me. But he was watching. He was like, why isn't that guy dying? I mean, it's like this big zombie covered in cheese. It's so cartoony. You know, there's no blood. There's no gore. You're shooting him with, you know, kernels of corn. I mean, the whole thing is just so ludicrous. And I was like, right now you can see, I hit my shots, but nothing happens. He's like, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I was felt so vindicated. I'm like, people are like, just get good, Sarami. They're always teasing me, you know, just get good. <laughs> yeah, not every streamer is really good at the game, you know? All right, what am I gonna do with this? Am I gonna keep this? Am I gonna, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna, let's see, I might add a wedge in it, you know? I don't think I have enough here to make two pieces, you know, like make one long one and then make another because I want it probably about this much longer. And what I would do is I would cut it in the middle and insert the wedge right there. So. <laughs> what? Okay. The funniest thing is I was like, dude, I, we were talking about mildly adult stuff because she's a mature streamer so someone said this which became the channel's copy paste it look people i'm a mature woman i don't have a problem personally with adult conversation but what i do have a problem with is being attacked for expressing my opinion and i still say rochelle shame on you for talking about sexual apparatus on a channel where you know you have underage viewers <laughs> regardless of what your warnings are on your channel as an adult <laughs> you should protect your young minds wow <laughs> really someone came into her stream and said that oh my god <laughs> oh my gosh you're gonna get your own xbox and then you're gonna be both competing for the wi-fi you guys are both gonna be mad at each other trust me <laughs> all right let me finish this up you guys let's see i'm gonna cut a little piece here that's so funny kids <laughs> People say the weirdest things in streams. I'm like, do you, you know, is your mom watching? Because she should be. <laughs> this is almost the exact same width as my thing here. So maybe I'll make this part of my wedge. I'm going to make it kind of long. Yeah, I totally know I'm winging it, you guys. I totally know. Needed a straight edge to start with. I'm looking at the lines on the table now. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little longer. I can always make it shorter. You know? Exactly. <laughs> Megan, he's not gonna, he's, and then you have to like friend request him too. The funny thing is my daughter got kind of into Fortnite last summer just for fun. She was like, it's kind of fun just to like hang out and it's such a pretty game, you know, like the world is kind of pretty, you know, and she was, you know, actually worse than me, which was awesome, except sometimes she would be way better because she's just relaxed, you know, got that young kid aim. This is my, and, um, uh... My friends were like, your daughter, wait, are, can we play with her? Can we, I was like, no way. And on top of that, I didn't want her on my friends list. <laughs> I didn't want her on my friends list because I didn't want 
her to just join me <laughs> playing and I didn't want um, a couple of my younger guy friends to like friend request her just be funny you know <laughs> I was like I don't want you on my friends list I didn't really say that to her okay I'm trying to get some I think I'm just gonna do a long piece you know I don't need all these extra these like individual pieces it's one and a quarter inches wide <laughs> exactly kids <laughs> she tried to play it once this summer and she was like oh my gosh this is so much harder now I was like yeah they've changed a little bit in the game it's a little harder now <laughs> Lately, I haven't been that into playing. I've been wanting to watch TV shows. Just sounds kind of good and cozy, you know, for fall. I'm just gonna cut a couple of long pieces of this. Um, they, she has this, by the way, on the cross screen. The, uh, this is the, this is so weird how she, yeah, so the, she has this um, on the cross screen. There's more stretch on the cross screen, and that's probably why. So, right, Megan, I know. You've been watching Mr. Robot? I've heard of that. Who is the guy in that? Isn't there someone who is in a movie? Like a, a big time movie? But look at, this is pretty stretchy. I think I'm gonna be okay. pieces like I just need like a little bit all right so we have some binding and get rid of this we don't have a lot of extra pieces good thing we don't need pockets okay we have our weight our sleeve what is this what is this is this my sleeve ties this looks weird. This is just scrap, right? Oh my gosh, it's just scrap. Facings, it might be my sleeve ties. Facings, waist tie, scrap, sleeves. I think that might be my sleeve ties. Oh wait, no, here's my sleeve ties. Yeah, okay. Front and back, right here. Binding sleeve ties. So I'm gonna group my sleeves up together like this. This is all for the sleeves right here. Facings. Sleeves. Yeah. Yeah, that's who I thought I was who I was gonna say that. That's who it was. Oh, Dark Knight, I heard of that. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, but I didn't want to assume. I heard him on Fresh Air interviewed. It was really good. Yeah. I just finished watching kind of a... Uh, I'm not big into romantic like stuff, but I just watched Four Weddings and a Funeral, the series. It was really good on Hulu. It was fun because it was in London, which I like. And then... Um, I'm into like a couple of HBO shows that I forgot I need to catch up on. I really love Silicon Valley and it's coming back for another season. That show kind of cracks me up. All right, I need some interfacing. If you guys wanna hold on a second. I think I'll use fusible. Those extras at the bottom of the shirt. What do you mean? This is my waist tie. 
And then I put the little piece right there that I might insert in there. Right? Yeah, he played for the movie. That's what I thought. Okay. That's exactly who I thought that was. Um, yeah, I saw, I heard the, um, I heard like one of the first episodes on Fresh Air where he like goes into a, it's like maybe like a convenience store or a little cafe and kind of outs the guy. He's like, I know your internet's way too good here. And basically tells him that he knows why it's too good because he's doing some illegal stuff. I just explained that so boringly. <laughs> what, pre-fusing your interfacing before cutting? Oh, like interface the fabric and then cut it. That's so smart, Barbara. Yeah, exactly, Nancy. You pre-washed your ray? Oh yeah, ray, yeah. I've heard of that sometimes it, it shrinks. Lucifer, is that what with Idris Elba? I really like him. Block fuse of fabric, exactly. Yeah, oh right, that's what it is, Carrie. Yeah, so Megan was, it was the it was the extra of the, um, the, sh the one, yeah, yeah. My backups. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's smart, Barbara. The the thing I was thinking about doing is, have you guys heard of the um, technique where you cut two facings, like two front facings, two back facings, and then you sew in your inner facing to the pieces, and you sew it along the, um, so you do this. So we'll pretend like this is two front inner facing pieces, or two front facings, or, or here, we'll just pretend, right? So this is, you have two pieces cut in your front and you one is your interfacing. You lay your interfacing piece on there and then you cut or you sew around the perimeter edge, turn it and then iron it like that. You could do that too. And that way you're not like, it's like perfectly in there and it, it all like fuses together. I feel like that would be way too overkill for this blouse. This interfacing alone is a little bit overkill. Yeah. I have trouble finding good interfacing locally. And um, I appreciate the things my fabric store does carry, but um, they definitely isn't their focus to do garment sewing, you know? They have, they have a bit, but it could be better. Yeah, so the open edge has a finished look, exactly. Yeah, and I and I think that that, it's really satisfying, I think, for folks to do that, so, I and I understand that. This was just a scrap of interfacing if you couldn't tell. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's my interfacing bin of weirdness. I need um I need some pattern hooks. I still haven't found my pattern hooks. I think I got rid of all my pom-poms too. I had my pom-poms for years, little tiny pom-poms that I used for the cupcake thin cushions. And I think I remember in the move going, you know what, it's time to let these go. And now I'm thinking about, you know, making a few. That's why I needle felted the, that's why I needle felted the cherry on top. How do you guys organize your patterns? Yeah, exactly, Ray. I know what you mean. I don't have any, I, I can't find all my pa pattern hooks. I have hundreds of them, hundreds. That's why I don't wanna buy them because they take forever to kind of go through. And then I started running out of them 
And so I was like, did a hard purge of fab patterns on my rack. Ones I knew, I was like, even if you made this again, you wouldn't trust it. You know, <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> oh, really, Rachel? Dang. That, see, I know, and I feel your pain. I am. I, I know I went right through there, but I was trying to aim for. <laughs> yeah, so I was thinking about making a, like a hanging pattern organizer. Then you can hang it in a closet. Yours all fit in an accordion folder, Nancy. In file bins. <laughs> Ray, I, I do that too. I haven't been lately, but I've refold them exactly the way. I get kind of obsessive about it. Yeah. From a plastic envelopes. Okay. See, what I like is when my patterns hang and then they're not getting wrinkly. And then I can look through on the rack. I can look for the pattern. And then if I organize the rack, like eventually I get little like, you know how like when you're in the kids section and there's those plastic rings and it'll say like 4T, 4T, 4T around it and it's on the, and that's to know what size it is like that or small, medium, large. I make rings like that out of cardstock and then I organize my things. Right now it's, it's still organized for chicken boots. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I love this. I love hearing how you guys do this. Yeah, so I have a standing file organizer that I just took over. Um, but I'm finding, like, the bulk of the pattern, I don't like how, like, like it, it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? I have some bins that I think they would fit in like this. But I use them to hold the, zip, the coil zipper I have by the yard. I only have three of those bins. Yeah, so I have a lot of patterns. And I feel like I'm a little behind on the Trello thing. So maybe on Saturday, I will do that as well. I'm going to write a list. So Saturday, I'm going to do another freestyle sewing. I just enjoyed doing that with you guys. And I feel like you guys did too. So I hope you guys bring some sewing. So I'm going to do um, pin cushions. Maybe... Maybe some quilt blocks, but we'll see. I, I'm, I don't think, I'm not planning on doing that. Um, and then uh, Trello. That way, if anyone's kind of been curious about that, I'm going to kind of get caught up on my Trello patterns. Um, I feel like I have probably like eight to 10 that aren't in there. And it's like knowing where I left off, you know? I can go back and look, like it's hard even for me to look at my streams and find what, cause I, they doesn't, you know, YouTube. Yeah, so. Yeah, Carol, do you, are you liking using the Trello? Trello is a, um, oh, you can't, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so Trello is a app and, or it's free. It's an either, you can use it as an app on your phone or on your computer. And it's intended for people to use as project management. Oh, yeah, yeah, Barbara, that's smart. And so um, I learned this from Miriam Felton, who's also Mim is making on Twitch. I learned about it, and I think it was Melinda and I in her stream that um, using it, so she's pretty elaborate. She organizes her fabrics and she, you can say all kind, you can create how you want to organize it and you can create the information you want to store on it. So you can say, this has been pre-washed. This is knit. I intend to use this for this. I have this many yards. It's this width. It's this content, you know, if it's cotton or polyester or whatever. Um, I don't organize my fabrics. <laughs> so um, are we talking Wizards Unite? <laughs> So it's more of like a project management tool, but you don't have to use it that way. So I've been using it to organize my patterns. I can even show you on my phone. I think it'll show up on the screen for you, like here. 
So I use it just to organize my patterns and I do it in the most basic way possible. And so I have like all my dress patterns here. And then I take a picture of the pattern and I don't, and I did not spend time like making them pretty either. I gave myself that like relaxed parameter, right? And so um, these are all the dresses so far that I have in here. And then I also photographed the yardage requirements. I did this mainly so that I would remember all of the patterns that I have. And then when I want to look at one, I can, um, wait, here's the pictures I took. So now I can look at the back of the pattern envelope. I can zoom in. So when I'm at the fabric store, see there's the pictures I took. You know what I mean? I don't know if you can see it. And then you can just click on one to see it larger and be able to zoom in. So then I can go, you know, like I just did it really quickly. All I did was name the, the card. That's what Trello calls it, a card. Um, <laughs> yeah, like Rachel, I don't organize my fabric. I only organize my patterns because when I'm at the fabric store, sometimes I'll see a fabric and I'm like, ooh, that's the fabric I've been looking for for this pattern I have, but I don't know what the yardage is. And so I'm more likely to be able to pull up the image of the picture and see the yardage than I am to get an internet connection sometimes in the back of those stores. So it's just a way for me to organize my patterns so that I remember what I have. Yeah, so I didn't, you could, you could even take it way further. You could write notes in there. I cut this size. I liked this about it. I don't like this about it. This is what I modified it. This is what I would do next time. Yeah. Yeah, like Mata, I have Evernote um, and I don't even use it. Some of those patterns are really, or those, those um, patterns, those um, programs are really sophisticated and they're amazing tools. It's like Excel, right? It's a massive program or illustrator. I'm barely dipping my toe into Trello. I'm just do, using it because I'm like, I wanted visual pictures. I didn't want to type it in. Because also, I want all the sizes and yardages on there because occasionally I'm with someone else or someone texts me. And I'm sitting there in my chair. I'm not even here. And they're like, hey, by any chance, do you know the yardage requirement on this because I don't have my pattern handy? And they ask me. They don't look it up on the internet. They ask me. <laughs> so sometimes I can look it up. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. It's on the app, but it comes up quicker than sometimes in the internet does. Yeah, it's on the app doesn't exist on your phone. Like if you delete the app, all, you're going to lose all that um, on your phone, but it'll still be stored on their app in their database, like in the cloud. So meaning I can log in and do this on the computer. I don't do it on the computer because I don't want to upload photos to it. This is just great. I just take a photo, name the card, and then I um, take pictures. And then this is my trick. I take pictures in reverse order of how I want them to show up. So I I take, like if I were doing the Lucerne blouse, I could do it right now, but I'll just do it on Saturday. I would create a new card, call it Lucerne blouse, and then I would take a picture of this first and this last, because then this would be the last photo. The last photo you take is the last one showing and that's what I've learned. Just take them in reverse order so I don't have to rearrange them later. You can rearrange them. I'm literally doing this as fast and easy as possible though. You do need an internet connection to see what you saved. It just comes up faster for me. Yeah, you could totally do that, Malin. You could take pictures from your designer pages, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> yeah. It's probably going to prompt you, Ray. It won't be hard to figure it out then. If you say, I want to add an image, it's going to say, do you want to do this from your phone? Or do you want to do this from your library of images on your phone? You're like, well, I have any because I don't know how to use my camera. Then it'll say, okay, we want access to your camera. I, mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to remember how it says it. So um, I'm not like selling Trello. 
You could do this however you want. I just really need the yardages of my patterns wherever I go. You guys might not need that like I do. Maybe you want to keep track of something completely different. Maybe you just want to keep track of things you've made or you haven't made, and then you delete it, you know, if you've made it, you know, and then you have it like, okay, these are the four patterns I still have left. I don't know. Maybe you don't want to use it at all. So like Miriam, she does everything. She does all of her fabrics, all of it. And that's, I sew way too much to keep my, track of my fabrics. They would be gone before I got them on the app, you know? I'm not bragging, it's just how it is. I sew a lot, you know? She does every single craft. <laughs> yeah, Ray, exactly. Like it'll prompt you. So anyway, we don't have to do that. I'm just thinking like that might be what I do on Saturday. Get up to date because I feel like, because I don't have all the hearts fabric patterns in here that they've sent me because those weren't patterns I bought. They gave me, I have like a store copy version, you know, so. I'd like to keep track of those though, so I can make one for me. Anyway, or maybe you just want to keep track of like, I have mine grouped by style of garment, but maybe you want to do it by fabric type. Yeah, you, there's so many fields on here. You can add fields. See, like I don't have, I'm not using, all I did was write Fiona dress by closet case patterns and in my list of dresses, right? Um, I didn't, I, I wrote size range, preferred fabric, my size yardage. I didn't fill any of that out. I don't know if you can even see that. Like I wrote that in there. But look at all these other things. Due date, labels, members, checklists. I didn't d utilize any of that. I could probably delete those things. And then you can just copy and paste each card because each of these things is a card. And then I do my image attachments and that's it. Oh, there's the images down there. That might even be easier to look at. It's really easy to use. Um, and in the, I'm pretty sure in the cutting of the Upton dress, I go over it really well. If you don't want to wait for me, we won't be here on Saturday. Or you want it right now. <laughs> I think I show on the computer screen. And then you just create a free account. And you can do it on your computer too if you don't want to do it on your phone. Yeah, exactly, Melinda. Yeah, you can have tags. You could tag things and then be able to search for things. Yeah. Yeah, Rachel, I mean, it might help if you're, if you find the need, but if you don't, I wouldn't bother with it. Like for me, I'm trying to simplify. I want fewer programs I'm using, fewer everything. Um, but I do find this to be the best way for me to just have, I want a picture, I want the actual pattern card and the actual measurements on there. I don't want to look on a website and then have to pull up their website, find the pattern on the website, find the right image and then sometimes the pattern card the pattern has the envelope picture sometimes it's in a tab in the description sometimes it's in a weird spot every um pattern company is different you know so yeah you forever talk about PSC. <laughs> yeah so i i mean i didn't do i just took my picture right here you know, I, I, did, I didn't make them pretty. I just wanted it to be clear so I can zoom in. I don't know. That was something I was needing. I mean, the other thing you can do is make an actual physical copy just like this, these two pages, right? And then put it in a binder and carry your binder with you. That's another way to do it. I like that because I like things in real life, you know, I like it like this. But my phone goes everywhere with me, sadly. That nope, it wouldn't. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. Cool. So I'll see you tomorrow to sew this together. That's all scrap fabric. And then Saturday, um, yeah, we'll go over a few things. I already know I want to make some changes to this, but this went together like that, no problem. So I will, uh, there's just one thread right here. It keeps bugging me. Look at these gigantic scissors I'm gonna use to cut it. <laughs> Anywho. 
<laughs> All right, you guys. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to make this. It'll be fun. I've been wanting to make this. And I have the I have a couple of things. I need to I just need to come up with a plan. I'll feel better if I come up with a plan of sewing. I really need to. I would do so much better when I have a list, you know? And I'm gonna start working on this pattern for you guys. It'll be fun. That's kind of a fun thing. Alright, well, thank you. Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscriptions, you guys. That was really fun. I'm not trying to pressure you guys. If you like what you see though, if you want me to keep doing this. You know, that is one way to help me out. And um, I will see you tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific. And on Saturday, same thing. And tomorrow we'll make the Lucerne blouse by Hey June Handmade. And it should be pretty fun. Pretty, pretty easy to sew together, too. Yeah, thanks, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana, iguanas. <laughs>